Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we will see how we can um, code the Fibonacci series in PLSQL. So to give the brief introduction about um, Fibonacci series, we must have written uh, the series in uh, usually in C programming language. So now let us see how we can write it in PLSQL. So what exactly the Fibonacci series does is whenever we are giving an input like uh, we say 1 the Fibonacci series for uh, 1 is going to be 0 then for 2 the Fibonacci series is going to be 0 comma 1 okay then for 3 it's going to be 0 comma 1 comma 1 so how we are going to calculate this Fibonacci series is for 3 it's going to be 0 1 and then 1 that is nothing but just uh, you know take the first and the first and the second you know number like 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 now by going to 4 you'll understand it better it's going to be 0 comma 1 so what is 0 plus 1 it's going to be 1 again then what is the previous number here 1 the other previous number is another 1 so 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 right so for 5 the Fibonacci series is going to be 0 comma 1 then uh, 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 then 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 and then 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so this is how it goes so what we'll do is we'll uh, code a uh, you know Fibonacci series uh, in PLSQL and see how it works so it's going to be 5 okay so this word is about Fibonacci series now we'll go directly to the coding part okay and we'll see how this is going to work first uh, as uh, for this I'm going to use the anonymous block so first declare then I'm going to use certain variables for the program that is one is going to be num and it's going to be of number type and this is going to fetch the value from the keyboard so I'm going to say something like this because it's going to fetch the value from the I mean input from the keyboard then I'm going to declare a variable called first and it's going to be number and I'm going to assign a value 0 for this this is going to be our first number then second variable and the data type is going to be number and I'm going to assign 1 to this fine and then I'm going to assign another one uh, variable called next and this is going to be number and I'm not going to assign anything because this is going to hold the whatever present values that it's going to get and print that then begin then what I'm going to do is first I'm going to dot uh, put underscore line and I'm going to print the first number then I'm going to copy the same and then I'm going to print the second number okay then uh, I'm going to use a for loop over here so we all know the working of it for I'm going to initiate a variable called i and it's going to be beginning from 1 to n that is num minus 2 till then it has to keep uh, looping until it is true then loop loop it and say next is going to be equal to first plus second so as I told you um, this is going to be like how we are going to get the pr uh, present Fibonacci series for 3 is we are going to add the first and the second number previous first and the previous second number that is 1 plus 0 is going to be 1 then here you can see 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 and then that's why we are giving 1 the next number is going to be the 1 plus the other next number 2 and that's why it's going to be 2 here so that's why I'm using this method then I'm going to assign first to the second variable I'm going to assign the second variable to the first sorry and then 
I'm going to assign for second variable as next okay then I'm going to say dbms underscore output dot put underscore line of next okay and then end the loop and end this as well save it let's close it and run the program uh, let me enter 3 so you can see the 3 is giving us 0 1 and 1 right again I'll run the program for 4 it's going to be 0 1 1 and 2 so what did we give here for 4 it is 0 1 and 1 and 2 you can see it here then if I give it for 5 you can see what will be the value just uh, run it oh, let me clear this off first just run this save 5 you can see it's 0 1 1 2 and 3 fine so this is what the logic for Fibonacci is and this is how we write in PL SQL so hope you guys this um, simple program helped you um, if any queries then please do mail me and keep supporting me my videos Th thank you very much for watching <laughs>